Hello, thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Um, for today's layout, I am designing for my creative scrapbook. They have monthly scrapbook kits um, using uh, latest the latest scrapbooking collections. There are four different kits, the main kit, creative kit, limited edition kit, and the album, album kit. Um, I am using the main kit, which for September, it is the um, Bungalow Lane from Paige Evans. So there's lots of fall goodies in there. For my layout, I am scrapping a picture of my daughter. Um, last fall I believe of her laying in the leaves so I wanted to create a circular design so off-camera I took um, I have one of those older Martha Stewart uh, circu circular or circle cutters and I cut my photo I did it off-camera because I was very nervous that I was going to um, just butcher it and then have to start over so I just did it off camera um, so yeah I had my photo cut and I had taken a bowl that was from my kitchen I think it was like a six or eight inch diameter bowl and I traced in the middle of my uh, white cardstock here um, to get that perfect circle and then I just erased it some so that you can barely see it and I am using um, these leaves. They are from one of the papers from Bungalow Lane. It is paper number five. It has a bunch of leaves and uh, some flowers on there as well. So I had cut a bunch of these off camera and I am going to be putting them around my photo within that circle that I had drawn. So I am just uh, kind of arranging them. Um, I'm going to put some on the foam adhesive right now and then after I put a few down I'm going to start arranging more without putting foam adhesive because I figured out as I was going along that I needed to figure out the design or not the design but the placement of the leaves and the flowers so that is what I have done here and that took a while <laughs> but I like the way it turned out I was trying to vary um, the colors and the shapes of the leaves the best I could um, yeah so I did a lot of moving moving them around and figuring what what look best and there we are I have them all stuck down with the foam adhesive now and I would like to use this paper to just add some color to the two edges of the white cardstock so I am gutting this paper so that if I choose to use it again or choose to use this one again in a future layout as a border then I already have it ready and I won't be cutting into the sides. Um, I cut down two strips to add to the top and the bottom of this paper. And I am just um, cutting a half circle or just a, a space to add in that pattern paper. So it's just peeking in. So I'm just kind of pulling up the paper and folding it over and I'm going to cut off that extra that's um, torn up. I didn't like it how it looked like that. So I'm going to do that to the top and the bottom. And I like that because it brings in all those colors that I used around the circle uh, without adding a lot of paper onto this because I thought I really liked how simple it looked just like this. I didn't want to add more paper. I didn't want to add a border around the paper either. So now I have um, some Nuvo drops. This is not included in the kit, but it was just what I had in my stash. I wanted to fill in the gaps even more. Um, it was, they were 
it was pretty full, but I felt like I needed something else just to kind of fill in the, the tiniest gaps that I have here. And I really love the way this turned out. I think it looks so nice. Um, it just took it to the next level, and I just really like the way that that looks with those Nouveau drops. And I'm also going to take a white gel pen and trace a little stitch border around my photo just to help it stand out a little bit more. Some spots on the photo were kind of light, so it, was, it doesn't really show up the best, but you can definitely see it in the photos when I share it here in a little bit. And then I'm going to use this fall wood veneer um, that comes in the kit. There's, I think, like six or eight um, little word wood, uh, wood veneers that you get to pick from. So I used the one that said fall and I added it on top of my photo and I think that looks super adorable. Here is the final layout. I love the dimension and just the circular design. I love doing something fun with a photo and cutting it in a certain way or putting it behind a cut file. And I really like the way that this layout turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. Thank you so much.